this month's news, dry AMD goes on offense with a stem cell retinal patch aiming higher than delay. In GA, a Phase 3 program pushes forward despite a Phase 2B stumble. And in a headline that defies species boundaries, a custom IOL gives a young wolverine sight. All that and more on SiteBite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. Dry AMD is usually a game of delay, but USC is playing offense. Researchers have launched a Phase 2B trial of a stem cell-derived RPE patch designed to replace damaged cells, not just slow the loss. Early data showed safety and even visual gains in about a quarter of patients. Reversal is still a question, but now it's the clinical one. Sticking with dry AMD, missing a primary endpoint isn't always game over in GA drug development. Avicetta's AVD-104 came up short on lesion growth in Phase 2B, but showed something harder to ignore, functional vision gains. With BCVA improvements and low neovascular conversion, the company is pushing ahead into Phase 3. In GA, anatomy still matters, but function may be stealing the spotlight. And from GA to inherited retinal diseases, Stargardt finally has a plot twist. Belight Bio's oral therapy, Tenlaraban, hit its primary endpoint in the Phase 3 Dragon trial, slowing lesion growth by 36% in adolescents. It's the first Stargardt Phase 3 win, and a rare one at that. With no approved treatments on the board, this could be the beginning of a very different story. Now, a story that zooms out from trials to real-world impact. A reminder that vision health doesn't stop at the exam room. One U.S. study published in the American Journal of Ophthalmology found that kids with vision impairment are 71% more likely to face food insecurity, even after adjusting for income and demographics. The takeaway? Visual impairment carries real socioeconomic weight, and for pediatric eye care, the ripple effects extend straight to the dinner table. And lastly, proof that IOL innovation knows no species. A two-year-old wolverine at the San Francisco Zoo became the first of his kind to receive a custom 100-diopter intraocular lens. With no off-the-shelf optics for wolverines, experts from UC Davis, Ohio State University, and lens maker Ann Vision engineered one from scratch and restored functional vision thanks to some good old cross-disciplinary collaboration and some fierce refractive planning. I'm Diana Jung, and that's a wrap for this edition of SiteBite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.